Checking on Money Matters now this morning, scammers are ramping up their game, especially against retirees, and smoking is being blamed for ranking Florida's beaches lower. Jane King joins us live from the NASDAQ, NASDAQ those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning, Jane. So Florida beaches are suffering as a result of smoking. Yes, well, Bruce and Jen, it was five years ago that Siesta Key was named Dr. Beach's best beach in the U.S. And he admits as long as smoking is allowed on the Florida beaches, it may hard to claim that title again. Now, smoking was banned on Florida beaches until a court case involving the Clean Indoor Air Act changed the rules statewide. And he says until smoking is banned from the beach, that Florida beaches will fall short on his checklist, at least. I I'm going to make an editorial statement here. Nothing bothers me more than I'm sitting out there on the beach trying to enjoy the fresh salt air and somebody starts smoking. Hmm. Oh, yeah, well, I'll leave it yeah, at that. Or your kids pick up a butt, you know, your babies on the beach. Started. Exactly. <laughs> all right, so, Jane, Florida Citrus, let's talk about some encouraging news here, all right? Florida Citrus yes, may be making yes. a comeback. A very encouraging. NPR reports that Florida's signature orange crop now less than a third of what it was 20 years ago. This is because of citrus greening, the disease. Uh, the USDA says this year's crop expected to be the smallest in more than 50 years. But at Florida's Citrus Research and Education Center, researchers now optimistic they will win the battle to save Florida oranges thanks to advances in developing tougher varieties of citrus. So let's hope so. I know that's just been devastating to those farmers. And as the baby boomer generation ages, we're becoming targets. Yes, uh, Allianz says about 37% of people surveyed recently by the insurance company said that the senior they care for had lost money due to some kind of financial abuse. And they lost, guys, $36,000 on average. It is not uncommon for a fraudster to offer computer help or maybe home repairs or yard work, try to get in and try to scam. So always have to be careful of giving anybody money. That is so true, too, because they are yep. so trusting. Um, now, so let's, yes. uh, so apparently a day cruise from Florida to Cuba, another <laughs> one available? Uh, yeah, does this sound great? A uh, Norwegian cruise line called Norled trying to get the terminal from Key West upgraded so it can support day cruises to Cuba. Now, it hopes to begin these cruises sometime in 2017. We'll see. All right, Jane, thanks very much. Have a good yeah, Monday. Thank you.